I do want to go to that petrol station very soon. Welcome and hello back to the new Vlogmas series that you know and love, riding lots of different horses. And today is an exciting episode because we are heading to a content creator. So that is the theme for today's video. I'm not gonna tell you exactly who it is just yet because I want you guys to work your brain. This is a brain teasing vlog. So I'm gonna give you a couple of little hints about who it is and you can comment down below with your best guesses. First clue is that we're heading down south. We're currently on the M40. So if you know your roads, you'll know what neck of the woods we're kind of heading to slash currently at, although we are still nearly an hour away. Second clue is that I'm gonna be riding a grey gelding today, which you may have already known if you've watched the first episode. And the third clue is that this particular grey gelding is quite difficult to ride from an outsized point of view and has a very extravagant back end. Those I think are pretty good clues. Comment down below if you can guess. We're actually gonna get a quick cheeky MS now. All right, so we'll see you in a second. We've arrived. The heart palpitations are going pretty strong because as much as we've done this lovely Yay. meet and greet on camera, obviously I've already spoken to the very fabulous person who has kindly let me come to see their horse today. And we've had a little discussion about just how extravagant his back end is and how he is a very tricky ride. So we're gonna head on in, go and meet them both. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Come on. I felt the branches of it looking at me. Is this the place? Well, hello there. Is this oh, the place? look who it is. Hey, look who it is. I've already told them that we've staged all this, but it's fine. Boss is here. The stars of the show. We've got Riding with Charlotte and the amazing <laughs> Bossy. We've had the big reveal. Ta da! <laughs> it's a surprise and we're not going to get home. No, can we have a little bit of a bio on you both, actually, please? A bio on you first. Let's go. Come on, tell Hi, yourself. my name's Charlotte. I am 28, soon to be 29, and I'm almost approaching 30. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, no, so basically I uh, work full-time in marketing um, as a marketing executive, and I uh, also have Bossy as my hobby. So my life is basically just combining the fun of marketing and the fun of horses, really. So, um, and you're also a bit of a social media star. I feel like you're really playing that down. Charlotte's very big on Instagram and YouTube, so I'm gonna leave her links down below so you can go and stalk. Because you're, okay. our, you're our content creator. Oh, am episode. I? Yeah. Oh. You're a full on, so I need you to go in hard. Well, our main focus sort of with Vossi is sort of progressing in uh, show jumping. I bought him almost three years ago, and I'm not ashamed to say it, we've had a pretty rocky journey, and we have publicly shared that. We've had a lot of eliminations, we've had uh, a lot of problems, but um, it's all come from me. I'm happy to hold my hands up. He's quite, a, he's quite a stark difference to the horses I've had in the past. I've sort of had like Irish drafts in the past um, and they're a totally different, well, they are, they're a totally different type of horse compared to mm. a warm blood like Bossy. Um, he's a KWPN, he's a big star bloodline. And you can tell. <laughs> Jumping around 60 centimetres, doing his name proud. <laughs> No, but you've done an amazing job with him because he's definitely, well, from looking on the outside, he is not an easy horse to ride. He's, he's just got a lot of quirks about him and it's taken me quite a long time to like figure him out as a horse. Mm. Um, but I feel like we're slowly getting there. We've been doing a lot of training to get better. 
um, and I feel like we're we're definitely striving to perfect the smaller classes, the smaller fences before we get any bigger. So we're sort of focusing around the 80, 90 mark this year. We've been focusing quite a lot on the 70s in the past, but um, yeah, just striving to perfect the smaller stuff before we get bigger and uh, yeah, take it from there. Yeah, well, I think you smash it. I absolutely love watching your stuff. And that's oh, why when I was planning this series, I was like, I really want to ride Bossy. Although I'm a bit scared, I just think he looks Incredible. He looks like he gives you such a cool feeling. He does give you a cool feeling. He's so, yeah. good fun. You don't need to be scared, promise. I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> anyway, Charlotte's very kindly going to take him for a little test drive first so we can see what he's like. I can, you know, compose myself. And then it's hat and boots time. We get going. What have um, you got planned for us today? Okay, so I have uh, built uh, a happy tiny course not not much going on here we've we're got lacking an oxer are we going to put we an haven't oxer got in? an oxer um Ooh, we might have to we might have to get the uh, the chef to keep on to that well we'll definitely come up with something but we've got a little course to jump we have we've got some cavalettis we've got a lovely big arena and a one stride uh distance as well we've got lots to play with um we'll obviously amend the heights as well as i as i jump round and then uh, we'll get meg on board and show she'll show us how it's done i'll probably mess up <laughs> same <laughs> <laughs> right, on you get girly. Good boy. boy. So Charlotte's gone to get her riding stuff. Me, being all brave because my feet are currently on the ground, just actually building a little cheeky oxer here, um, which of course we will want to remove once I get on. But for the time being, I think it looks fantastic. Right, need another cup and pole. You okay? Yeah, I am trying really hard not to breathe heavily through the mic. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll separate the sounds and take it off. Honestly, just ride like you'd normally ride. Do you know what? Out of all the people I'm visiting, I didn't expect the content creator to be the nervous one on camera. Are you joking? <laughs> so can you talk us through a little bit what he's like to ride? Like, what are you feeling right now? He I'm feeling a nice relaxed canter. bossy actually. Hey? I'm feeling a nice relaxed bossy. Yay! Usually he's freaking all over the place in here and we haven't been here for about three months because of all the construction that's going on. Oh, hey, thanks for selecting this arena for us to ride in. Yeah, he's feeling good. Yay! Hey Charlotte. He's so smart. Oh, look at that trot. Yeah, that was, as you could tell, I did not make him do that. But he actually does have a really nice extended trot. Yeah. Can we Should I try and do it? Yeah, go on. Use this nice long side. Let's have a play. I haven't done it for so long, though. No. I think it would take him a few times. He's like, canter. No, he's, he's just like, hands. I've seen the jumps, mum. You good? Oh, don't be nervous, you're fine. I'm just really sweaty. Right, well this is the prime example of the lengths that I'm content fine, creators though. go to. Just take it off, come on, we've got the content now. <laughs> Meg, I am determined to keep this on. Also, because I've got rolls underneath this. This is a fun little insight into the YouTuber life, is when you need to get content, you need to get content. I'm in a t-shirt, and Good Charlotte's, point. funnily enough, in the Charlotte jacket from Fairfax and Favour absolutely sweating it out in order to get <laughs> hashtag dedication content. this november air is just so warm suddenly <laughs> right just do a little bit of cavaletti work now let's pete i'm going to come over where you're standing <laughs> i was literally thinking who's going to tell pete he's stood in front of the cavaletti <laughs>
Cornwall. Yeah, I'm so you focused really when I'm jumping. Good. You look, you're like, you look insane. You'll be happy with it. Just enjoy it. You're having a fun day jumping your pony in the sun. Good boy, boy. I'm worried you're gonna like pass out from overheating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't think she's breathing either. No. I'm not breathing. When did you last breathe? Before you arrived. <laughs> Being so sensible today. Famous last words. Maybe don't ruin him. She's got him so beautifully calm and collected. Go oh, up. Sorry, Bosh. I also love that. <laughs> Be replaying that one. <laughs> A little spike to me. I think nervous. She's absolutely smashing it. He's so smart, isn't he? I really like him. Woo! Yeah. That was a little bit scary, but... <laughs> yeah, sit up nice and tall, Meg. Oh, God. He can turn on a distance. Oh, yeah. That's why I got him. He's a little, he's a little firecracker. He is. He's so smart, though. Honestly, you've done such a nice job with him. Oh, thank you. Right, shall I start jumping like an actual horse now? Yep, what do you want from us? Do you want anything changed or? No, happy? Still, yep. Whew. Are you sure you don't take your jacket off? Meg, I got this. Last, this is, I'm not going to say it again. But it's quite funny how you're wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> and I'm in like a winter coat. Can you tell who's better at marketing? Although, Devoted. Christmas merch, guys. Christmas merch. You might still be able to buy it in time for Christmas. It'll be, it'll be tight. You're going to want to head over to the merch page right away, actually. <laughs> yeah, the boy. Right. He's so smart, honestly. Like, you should have seen really us, like, literally nice. no, but that's four months thing. ago. Like, you need to believe in yourself more because you've done such yeah. a good job with him. Like, you make him look so rideable. Oh, thank you. Hey boy! You're a good boy. Your mum's had to good deal. Job. He's had to deal with me being absolutely pants for almost three years. So the least I can do well, is he's is... obviously done him good because he yeah. looks cracking now. So oh, thank you, Meg. Right, so good. Shall I give some of these fences a crack? I think so. And then I'll pop off, and then you've got him. <laughs> no, you're jumping the biggest you've ever jumped first. I think. I think that's what we said. No, wasn't it, this isn't the biggest it. I've ever jumped. No, I'm pretty sure we're changing this to a Chase Me Charlie with just you, and I'm not riding. Absolutely not. I think that's what it. I'll check my notes, but why don't you do your cross pole to your upright to start with, and then if it's going well, go down over your double. Yeah, nice. <laughs> like it. Oh, I see that silly guys. Oh, he's so Whoa. scary. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he does look really fun. Fancy oh. upright! Nah. I need a breather. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one for you, Meg. <laughs> wow, if my trainer saw that round. You would say that was absolute What did you like about that round out of interest? Um, I like that instead of holding him back so much, yeah. I almost let him go on a bit more of a free canter. Yeah. Um, so what didn't you like? I didn't like how he was rushing off after the fence. I lost him. Okay. So you know after that upright, you were all like, woo! Yeah. That's because I didn't have him. Right, in okay. my hands. So for, like, from where I was standing, it didn't look like he was out of control, but did you feel out of control yes. there? Right, that's interesting, okay. Because it's really hard so, for watching yeah. to when you're on feeling. Him. Exactly, when you're on him, yeah. you'll feel like everything's way more exuberant than right. it actually is. Right, okay, um, no, that makes a lot of sense. Because it, like, it looks really beautiful, but I know that it's very different when you're yeah. underneath them. You can feel so but much also, more than you But also, like, the thing with Voss is like these fences are, what, 70 centimetres? And they feel big. Yeah, because he proper bascules and like puts his back his back legs up. So, you know, I'm jumping a 90 in two weeks, and I'm thinking to myself, 
Am I pushing it a bit? But at the same time, I've Do you been want jump- us to put these up a little bit? No, no, no. I, I never jump the height I'm going to jump at shows at home. I always really? keep it at home. I keep it as spooky free as possible and, um, and as small as possible. Really? For my own confidence, I think, okay. and for him as well. Because yeah. when I go into the ring, it's almost like a whole different ball game. Like yeah. I'm zoned in, I'm focused on it being a competition. So I don't care about the spookiness. I don't care about the height. I just want to get round. So I don't care about all that. Whereas yeah. at home, I have time to process how scary it is and how big it is, and I don't like it. It like really sets me That's back in confidence. That's really interesting. Okay. What about you? Do you are you sort of? I mean, I I'm I'm not a fan of jumping big at home, but yeah. I always try and jump bigger at home than I do at a competition. So then I go to the competition and think, fully prepared. Oh my god, I've jumped bigger than this. It's fine. Yes. But it pushes me out of my comfort zone. It's something I force myself to do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I do know what you mean. It's when you're cold blooded, jumping at home, it's it's horrible. Anyway, on that note, off you go. Right, I'm going to try once more and then he's yours. <laughs> oh God, yay. Come on, Vast, you've got to make this look good. Oh. Yeah, he's Whoa. exuberant. He is very exuberant. <laughs> ah well. Hey, do you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> ah well. He looks a bit strong there. Again, he was jumping that upright. Really. Keen, keen bean. Better, but no, no, no. No. He's like, gallop. Oh, well. Oh. Good luck, Meg. <laughs> Your face isn't filling me with confidence. But. Do you want to make it? We'll, uh, we'll start small. It's fine. I'm going to take all instruction from you and we'll just, we'll do what we do. Cool. We can do as much as we need to, or as little as... <laughs> no, but I'm also terrified that I've got Meg Elphick here and I do not want to be responsible before Christmas. Before Christmas, you'll ruin Christmas, that's for no, sure. No, honestly, you'll be fine. Christmas will be over. Do you want some gloves? That's um, one thing I would say yeah, with him. Yeah, could I? I meant to bring gloves, but I forgot. They're lovely, sweaty and smelly. Don't smell, just put them on. Wait, are they me. my gloves? Hey. Oh, oh yeah, put on hands. They're dry. I want them back. Oh, just like I didn't get my socks back. <laughs> you say that. Okay, it's it's time. It is time for a uh, Meg to show it how it's done. <laughs> no, you've really not filled with confidence. Because I think, firstly, you're very hard on yourself because I thought you did a really good job then. Oh, thanks, Meg. So I'm a little bit worried I'm going to get on and you're going to go. No, I'm oh, not. My I've word. seen how you ride your ones. You ride really nicely. You're the perfect rider for him. Seth, honestly. You, yeah, you've just you've you've. Oh, you just made me a bit scared. Don't just let's go get my words out all of a sudden. Don't be scared. Oof. But yeah, I feel like you have to be hard on yourself to improve, right? You do. You do to an extent, but I'm equally, too much. Yeah, like <laughs> I know. I don't know. It's would you would you have said that to your friend? Would you have been that harsh to your friend? No, I wouldn't. There we go. You should be that harsh to yourself. That's a very good point. Now that's a nice deep message for this Christmas. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to delay this just a little bit more for the nerves and quickly tell you about the giveaway. So for the second giveaway, we have got not one, not two, but three amazing prizes from the wonderful people at Point Two Air Vests. Now you might be thinking, Meg, why are these so important to ride in? And it's actually easier if I just show you rather than tell you. So this kindly thrown into shot is my air vest that I was wearing at Bicton Horse Trials when I took that rather nasty tumble. You can see we've got a few war wounds on here. I do need to give it a bit of a clean, but these tell a story. So this one specifically was where Jam, when I was tangled in the martingale, actually ended up treading right down my shoulder. You can see she kind of slid down. 
Now, because these inflate, it gave me so much added protection. I did have a bit of neck pain, but I dread to think if I was just wearing my body protector, what this might have actually done to my neck and my shoulder. I went for physio after, and the physio was so impressed that my shoulders were still all moving after she saw the video. And I'm pretty darn sure it was down to me wearing these amazing air vests. So Point2 are very much leaders in the industry. They started back in 2008 when they bought the air vest concept over from the motorcycling industry and they adapted it for us equestrians. Now they have been improving it year on year. They've bought out so many more versions. I ended up getting one around 2010. So before I ever started going British eventing, I began wearing my air vest and I haven't gone cross country without one since. They really give me an extra sense of confidence and safety when I'm riding. I really wouldn't consider going cross country without one of these on now. It gives you so much added protection and can also prevent from potentially fatal accidents. So I'll briefly tell you about how they work. They all have a CO2 air canister attached to them. These are super easy to change. Always have spares in your lorry because if you're riding two horses on a day and you do take a tumble, you can literally change it. You have the Allen key attached there. Then you attach this, that would be attached in there, but because of my fall, it's not. So that would be there. You attach this to the saddle straps that they will give you, not to your D-ring. You need it in the middle. They'll provide you saddle straps when you get a new air vest. Attach that there. If you are to take a tumble, this will inflate between 60 and 80 milliseconds. Now I couldn't actually comprehend that number. So I did have to do some Googling. There's 1000 milliseconds in a second. So that is the tiniest fraction of a second that once this is removed from here, it will inflate and then it provides you with an air vest. So if your horse treads on you or falls on you and crushes you below, this gives you the extra padding and enough time to get out from underneath the horse so that you, they can get away and you've not got too severe injuries. You do need to wear your body protector underneath to protect you from how quickly it will inflate. But honestly, I really think that these should be mandatory to go cross country in because they have saved so many people. So you lovely people are probably wondering what the prizes are. And I'm very excited to tell you that first prize is going to be your very own Pro Air Air Vest. So they've actually got three new colors out which you'll get to pick between. There's the Fuchsia, the high vis Pink or the Teal. I always like to go for a bright colour. I think it makes you easier to spot cross country and also just looks really nice. It's like having cross country colours. So for second prize, they are giving someone a £200 voucher to put towards an air vest. So you could either upgrade an existing one or you can buy your very own air vest to make sure you are protected when riding your horses. And for third place, they're kindly giving away a service to be used within the year. So if you're one of those people that wears an air vest but doesn't necessarily use an air vest aka you haven't fallen off for a while but you've had it for a few years it's really worthwhile getting them checked out you send it back to point two they'll inflate the whole thing and just make sure that everything is working perfectly to give you peace of mind that when you get it back you know that this little bad boy is going to inflate in a fraction of a second should you part company with your horse a massive thank you to point two air vest for kindly donating these three amazing prizes if you want to end to this giveaway you need to head over to my Instagram all of the T's and C's will be there but now it's time we go back to ride Rossi and I'm not gonna lie kind of thinking maybe I should have taken my air vest with me let's put your stirrups on have we got the same boots yeah we do mountain horse <laughs> oh, oh my god girl you should have told me Stop. I'm not clean fine sorry should I get on first <laughs> oh, no, right. stirrups, yeah or? go on no whack it whack your foot and you might, you might I ride very short so Oh, he's, he's longer, longer than mine in front. Oh, really? Jam's got the shortest neck but in the world. But you have to ride him with a really short rein, so he will go compact. Okay. Thank you. How are those stirrups? Up one, okay. Um, can I warm up in them? Yeah, first? go for and it. See. You do what you need to do. Oh, it Hello. smells like burnt rubber, doesn't it? It's horrible. <laughs> Mate, that's you in that coat, you've got so hot. <laughs> you good? Go on, Meg, show us how it's done. Go on, Meg. Well, I mean, you're my instructor. Right, go on then. <laughs> right, go on then. <laughs> so, yeah, so just that, just that of interest, when Ooh. I jump him, my hands are here on the reins. Crikey, okay. Yeah, very, okay. very short. Very, very short. Yeah, so like literally make sure your hands are here. Oh my God. <laughs> Is anyone else scared? 
or scared for me. <laughs> Should have mic'd you up, you're full of it today, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so how big is he? He is 15.3. He's a nice height. He's very nice height. I feel like I say this story all the time, but funny story. I saw him advertised as 163 centimetres and right. I thought 163 centimetres meant 16.3. So I <laughs> look at him over the stable door and I was like, this isn't 16.3. He's like, <laughs> the guy that I was buying him from was like, no, he's 15.3. I was like, oh, right. <laughs> Okay. He must be like, okay, who is this woman? But do you know what? I love my little pocket rockets. I've never been a fan of big, big horses. I can't ride over 16 hands because I'm just like, if I fall off and break my leg, that's my career Ooh. over. <laughs> Maybe input some laughing in the background to that because no one laughed at my comment. Ooh. Nope, Meg, please add some laughter after that Ooh. comment. Yeah, Meg, nice one. Doing some transitions. That is not what I did. <laughs> I always just like to test my brakes when I'm getting on a new one. <laughs> Little brake test. Brake test. Good boy, boss. I already feel like I've got so much more in front of me than with mine. He's just long. When you have a trot and canter, though, he does have quite a. Um, he comes up. He comes up a yeah. lot and he, he, his neck shortens. Yeah. So he does feel quite um, compact. You a compact little boy, aren't you? Yeah. Look at us, sneaky, doing a transition away from everyone. This is the moment where Meg actually like makes me look like the worst rider ever. On my flat, Meg, he looks so nice already in trot. I love him. You can tell Meg's an eventer, can't you? You've got a smart horse. Oh, but Meg, Charlotte, you've done lovely. this. Honestly, that is a lovely trot. Good boy. Oh my God, I want to steal your horse away. Bloody hell, you've only just had a trot. You might think differently in his canter though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I might get there's scared. that extended trot I couldn't do, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I can see the comments flooding in already. Meg, you ride Bossy so much better than Charlotte. Charlotte, stop it. <laughs> You've trained this horse. I've just sat on and uh, like used all of your hard work. Basically, Meg, can you ride a bit <laughs> please? <laughs> Lovely. Oh, my gosh. Wow! <laughs> He's so cool! But what's really interesting actually, where I think you're able to get that extended trot is the length of reins. Okay. Because I ride about, I ride about six centimetres shorter than that. I think yeah. that's why he always expects the canter when I've got my boy. leg on. Good boy. Yes. Okay, I'll stop annoying him with that trot now. <laughs> I'm not used to having these gears on ponies, that's why. <laughs> Ooh. Really nice. Ooh. Bend. Bend. That's better. Good boy. That's better. Whee! Here she goes. Lovely. You can definitely see how you get your flat work in. See, I don't get flat work training. I solely train show jumping. You know what? That's naughty. You I need to do dressage is. training. But I feel so under the pressure because I bought him for show jumping. I feel so under the pressure to get the show jumping. Yeah. Right. So all I'm doing is, you know, once, twice a week, show jumping training. But think how, 
how long you're in the arena for. Yeah. How many seconds you're going over fences and how many seconds you're on the flat. Yeah. I tell you what though, the um, lady that's based here, Mandy Day, top dressage rider, she, uh, she's given me one lesson before. And, um, oh my God, the transformation in Bossy after right, that boy. lesson was incredible. Sorry, mate, that's a bit behind you there. I should start having some more lessons with Mandy. Ooh. Just try and lift your inside hand up a bit because it tends to drop a little bit yeah. when you're trying to bend him. Good lad. I do it all the time as well. Good lad, bend. <laughs> He's not be jumping now. Uh, uh, uh. So Good. what do you think so far in the canter? He just needs to soften more I on know, the inside. I know, he doesn't soften, this is a thing. This is one thing I've had consistent with him in three years. Even after I had a professional Ooh. on him, after buying him from the pro, the pro said the same thing. He is just naturally, in his canter, he really struggles to soften. Yeah. And then it stresses him out. Yeah, exactly that. That's why I'm always out of my seat and I've got my hands up high. That's, that's how I found he relaxes the most. Right. A, a high hand and a soft seat. That's it, you're just trying to, you just want to be like, flex your neck there and yeah. then you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Good boy. Right, do one more canter that way. And then I'm gonna jump. <laughs> kind of enjoy my flat work session, to be honest. You can you can practice over the cavaletti. Pardon? You can practice over the cavaletti. Okay. Let's just just a little bit more flat work while we're here, shall we? Good boy. Good boy. Good. Sorry, Pete. Better. Good. Oh God, I forgot we did those when we show jumpers. <laughs> yeah, he's really good at his flying changes. Oh my word, I was literally like, and trot. Oh, good boy. I think we should event him and I can do the dressage, you can do all the jumping. I want to event him, but I can't, I'm too scared of the cross country phase. <laughs> Isn't everyone though? Yeah, get yeah over that's it. I think. Cross country is what everyone's eventing. terrified of. Right, any last words for me before I attempt a fence? I would just say that canter was quite open. When you come into a fence, I've spent so long trying to get him steadier on his hops. Okay. So hold for that, hold for hold the stride. Hold for a short one don't, rather than go for a long one. Don't push for a long one, because when you push him for a long one, psychs him up, that's when you get the back end and the bucks. Okay. So right. just hold, just think, hold, hold, hold. hold. I'm normally quite a holdy person, Good. so I'm hoping Good. that I will stay true to that. And just try and keep your hands up a little bit more. Okay, good boy. But yeah, go. G Can you make that cavalette any smaller, or is that smallest? I think that's it. Yeah, let's put it. Let's put it as a pole practice first. The pole, yeah? and you can practice. Good over. idea. Yeah, here we go. Have a little practice. Oh, over that's that. more my size. Right, and I'm going to start on our better rain, Voss, if that's good with you. Yeah, his best range this rain. Yeah. Left one. <laughs> Look at us, the whole crew behind Pete, running need behind us. Do yeah. I need to get in there? Yeah, so where do I need to stand? Back. Right, hands up, Meg. Right, steady that canter even more. One, two, three. I mean, I was def definitely getting for a longer one there. He was, coming, no, he was coming for a long one there. Hold him, like, I want that canter a little bit steadier. A little bit steadier. That's it, that's it, that's it. Right, hold, hold, hold. One, two, three. Right. That was a long one. <laughs> Do you see what I mean about needing to hold that little bit more? Because you're yeah. firing. Steady. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lovely, that was nice. Good boy. Oh. Just steady that canter a fraction. Yeah, so I 
Oh, yeah, no, that's good. I keep forgetting I don't when the fences get bigger, that is the perfect canter that you've currently got. Okay. When they're small, just try and bring them back. What we're trying to teach him is differences in canter. When they yeah. get bigger, let's open that canter. When it's smaller, let's just get him, you know, not pulling us into the fences, get him listening. Yeah. It's all about, because he's so opinionated, it's about playing with him. Horse. Got to change it up all the time with him because he's he's a very smart horse. We've got to change it up all the time. See, so steady that canter a little bit more. Steady, steady, steady. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Beautiful, lovely. That really got him thinking, picking his legs up nicely. Whoa, <laughs> he's like and medium. Uh, 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 head up, head up. What do you think? Yeah, I love him. Do you want me to pop it up? Yep. Good boy. He's good. Yeah, Meg, you look brilliant on him. He's just so up for it, which is nice. Like, is that a... So even though it's that little bit bigger, he will get keep more excited. the steadier canter. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Well done, Meg. <laughs> Give like, me a high five. Like, so don't much. undo this work and get his canter fast no, again. No, 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 absolutely not. I just want you to feel the difference because when you start stringing fences together, He'll get, yeah. you will feel him just opening up. And Well, that's, yeah, I saw that riding him like over the Cavalettis. It's like, wow, look yeah. at that control. And then you jump a course and he's like, way. Good boy. So when I warm him up at a competition, I really focus in the warm up of really get him listening, yeah. off his hocks, slow and steady. Yeah. Because when we go into that main ring, he automatically fires himself up. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's like overdoing it on the outside. Yeah. Steady, 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 steady. Lovely, really nice, Meg. Good steady again. Whoa, whoa. One, two. Lovely. Good. Ooh. 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 Really nice. With the bad rain? <laughs> yeah. Just keep <laughs> your keep your um, yeah. keep your inside leg on and yeah. push him out with it. This is why I wear spurs because my lower leg is rubbish, and it really <laughs> helps aid me and push his hind end yeah. out. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lovely, really nice. He's so smart. So nice. Whoa. Good boy. <sighs> You've got such a nice horse. Oh, thank you. Good boy. Right. Good boy, boss. Is it time to scare my pants off? We're going to change the course this time, so it's a bit different. Yep, sounds good. So we're going to jump the cross, coming down towards eight. Yep. Land, go up over your, up right there. Wait, so towards? Towards the cars. Yep, yep. So you're coming over the cross, towards H, all the way around the arena, over the, no. Yeah, yeah, all the way around, yeah, round. over towards the cars. Towards yep. the cars, then land, round, then I want you to come inside this double and jump the second part here. Oh, she's nasty. <laughs> so we're gonna land that, turn left, and then you're gonna come over the cross here. I love how she's like, we're gonna make it bit, like really easy, small jabs, and then angle this one. Come on. On a this. 90 degree turn. Right, so then once you've jumped this, this, I want you to... <laughs> what, no, no, no. About, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Double. Land, round, and then you're gonna jump across that way. Towards the fence. No, That's horrible. No, 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 because you're not jumping on an angle. You're going to come in like this, keep boss close to this, and straight. Nice of Charlotte to uh, give us this demo when she is off the horse. Come on, Meg, you can do it. 
Keep your range short, keep your leg on. Range short, leg on, off you go, roll up, roll up. Tally ho! Okay, so cross pole, straight, your random angles. Yeah. Well, let's it's see. almost like a figure of eight. You come in, jump round, do your other figure of eight. Okay. He does this with me all the time, so don't okay. worry. It's not well, like he's I'm never done this before. I do it all the time with him. If I mess this up, it's going to be awfully embarrassing for me then, isn't it? You're not. you got this, Meg. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's sorry, Moss. Over this. Mum, Mum, Rach, out of the way. She's coming over that. Right, steady that canter. That's it. Beautiful. I love how he changes over a fence. Beautiful. What really a little nice. legend. Keep that, keep that. Lovely. Leg on, leg on. Yeah, I was, like, I was doing your old <laughs> nice and quiet. <laughs> right, look where you're going. Look where you're going. Just the old That's it. Look at me talking to you like you're in riding school. There we go, lovely. Really nice. Then come round. Ooh. Ooh. That's it, nice. Try and make him fly and change, Meg. Go on, screw it up. <laughs> oh, go, yeah. on, go. go on, go on. Whee! Meg, Ooh. come back over your cross again to finish off. Whoa, whoa. Whee! Oh, sorry, I'll stop you doing your change then, mate. I'm scared I was getting a buck then. Yeah, I could see it kind of happening actually. It's a good job you did get that pull there. Good well boy. done. Oh God, there goes the rain. He's really mega. Really good. Can we put him up? Yeah. Go, <laughs> if you're ready to have him up, I'm ready to have him up. Good. He's so nice. So, so nice. Like tricky to ride, but really rewarding to ride, I'd say. Charlotte's done a lovely job with him. He's, he is dead smart. Right, oh. right, Meg. <laughs> Just so you know, it took me about two years to jump this height with Vossi, and she's yeah. doing it in approximately. Yeah, but minutes. you were obviously working through baby she bits. She just called him. me out here to show me off, to show me up, didn't she? That was it. That was the plan all along. Boy. So Meg, this time, don't do the cut in. No. Jump the full double. Yep, 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 yep. But I don't know how you're going to do that. You can figure out a course when you're on board. I'll just have a little, have a little play. Yeah. Just shorten those reins a fraction, Meg. <laughs> That's it. Look, you used to have such short reins. Good Lovely. Boy. Got the change. Ooh. Ooh. Hands up a little bit, Meg. That's it. Keep the hands up. Ooh. Look at me trying to tell bloody second place badminton rider what to do. Who am I? Good boy. Oh. <laughs> really nice canter there. Right, so remember, hold and wait. Wait for it to come to you. Whee! Oh, really nice. Good boy. Pete, he's coming over this. That's it. That's it. Right, wait. Don't let him rush off. Don't let him rush. <laughs> I'm having too much fun now. <laughs> That's boy. it. Lovely. Good boy. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Meg, I think you absolutely smashed that out of the bag. He's so smart. I'm I know I've said that about a million times. Can I jump over an oxer first? Do you want to jump over an oxer? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's so nice. I'm obsessed oh, with him. I don't want to get off. Oh, you hear that, Bosh? She loves you. Oh, that was absolutely incredible, honestly. Like you made that look so easy. He's and so smart. I did like we got a bit rushed in places, but does he feel like any of the ponies or horses you've ridden before? Can you sort of compare, or is it totally? New I wouldn't feeling? say like I wouldn't say he's completely dissimilar from Dak Jam in the fact like she's got quite a big back end. Yeah. Um, and like she does, she's fizzy, not as fizzy. Yeah. But like she's keen into a fence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
and then yeah like ace my first year old he was always really like yeah 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 so he's probably the most similar but that was obviously some years ago i actually rode him honestly you absolutely smashed it i love him i love it. him giving him a nice workout for me i know sorry no tell don't me, if you need me to stop just tell me don't you apologize he needs a good workout i'm too soft with him second uh, I'm, sweats, just... I'm like okay let's do a 15 minute cool down i'm, just... <laughs> I'm too obsessed with him oh also fyi he really veers off to the left so can you try really hard to use your, your inside leg inside yeah. leg to scoot him over to the fence Wait, he veers to the left. He, he goes to the, to the left. the left, yeah. So oh, sorry, I'm getting my left What I'll do right is, I'm actually going to put a pole here for you to... Oh, don't let me land on that, though. No, 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 no. As in... Right, he's going to go left. Yeah, so I'll He keep... wants to go this way. Outside rain, inside strong. leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, Meg, show us how it's done. Go on then, boss. Let's not stack it now after I've been the one to ask to continue. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. I just wanted a, no. a little bit more of a listen then. That's Good it. Good boy. It's quite tight coming in there. Go around this way. Yeah, take, use, use the arena. Don't, don't feel like you have to come in tight. That's it, right. Steady, steady, steady. Beautiful! Honestly, absolutely. You need to be jumping like 150s on this horse. He's insane. Doesn't he make the fences feel big though? <laughs> I'm coming. Yeah. Well, I felt like that was like a 110. I know. That's why I only jump 80 because it feels like I'm jumping one meter 80. Beautiful. Well done. Maybe a tiny bit bigger. Tell me if you don't want him doing any more though. No, I think we'll just jump this and leave it at that, Meg. Yeah. Only if you're okay with that. I don't want to like, push him to do anything. And I also don't want to whiz him up for you. No, one more, one more. I put up, maybe I put up three. Good boy. Yeah. Right, we'll jump this nicely once and then that'll be us. Yeah, and then we'll give him a nice cock because he, poor thing's been off the trailer since 11. Oh my God, bless his heart. <laughs> Right, jump this piece, but don't fire him. Last time you got him a little bit fired in the last couple of strides. Okay. Hold for it. And okay. also, when he when you hold him, he makes a much more pretty shape. Okay. He really lifts himself up, uses his core. Yeah. Otherwise, when he's more forward, he flattens. And it's okay. Not... Okay. So really, really squeeze with the leg and hold that beautiful canter there that you've got. That's lovely. One. Wow, that was amazing. Meg, you rode that insane. He really jumped that nicely. <laughs> Can we do this video every week? <laughs> His jump, I was like, holy smokes, we've gone way too close. And he's like, no, we haven't. He is this so is cool. Perfect. Really nicely done. He is so cool. Thank you uh, so Pete, much. Did you see the, did more? you stand here? Oh, then stretching. you can really see like the size of your back up. Are we going again? Is that right? Oh yeah, sure? Meg, this is a shot. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to stand here. Right, the same way you rode it before, okay? You said you felt like it was too close. It was perfect. One, two, one, two. Beautiful! Bloody smashed it, Meg. Ooh. Seriously. I walked across an empty land pathway like the back of my hand I felt the earth beneath my feet sat by the river and it made me complete oh simple thing where have you gone no absolutely not you wrote him Boy. perfectly do you want me to trot him around uh, just walk him off now okay. that's all right if you could just give him like 10 minutes loose walk well done! He is so amazing. Like I knew it was going to feel nice from watching you, but yeah. he just like he's so talented, isn't he? He's incredible. Yeah, I I think I can see like a big difference actually in the way we both ride. Like you ride, um, you're a lot kinder in your riding. Like I'm more. 
I think it's because I've experienced so many eliminations and refusals. Yeah. I've, I've still got it in my head that this could happen. So yeah. I'm, I, I rely on the reins a bit. I'm a bit more rigid and not as relaxed. Whereas you with him, I swear, you were so relaxed. Oh. You know, you gave him his head really, really nice. But I mean, it, like it's it's difficult because when you've known them the whole time, you carry all of that weight with yeah. you, and it's very easy from someone who's seen you on Instagram, turns up, he's in a really nice mood today. You've warmed him up yeah. for me. Like it's so much easier for me to just get on. You honestly absolutely nailed it, Meg. Oh, I've I, never, I've genuinely never seen anyone else ride him like that. Like <laughs> amazing. On it, like I love him. I why, think I'm in love with him. Why do you have to be so far away? I know. Genuinely, if you want to go eventing, I, like, I'll I take do. him to a first event for you. I would love it. hundred percent. He's so freaking cool. You heard it here first, guys. Yeah, He's watch Meg. out for a Meg and Charlotte eventing series. <laughs> <laughs> he, like... And uh, it's amazing to have a horse that you can jump, even jumping a cross pole or a cavaletti, he makes yeah. it feel so impressive. This is the thing, right? So in the past, I've... Um, with the Irish draft breed, uh, jumping a pole can sometimes feel like really... Well, you just, you don't jump. You just like, it feels like nothing. Yeah. And that's the good thing about breeds like the Irish draft. They don't make a 150 feel like a 150. Yeah. Him, because he's got so much exuberance and power, yeah. he makes a cross pole feel big. He's like a bouncy ball, isn't he? He's like a bouncy ball. And you ball. can like, you can just ping him down right in front of the fence and he's... Boom. Yeah, springs it. You're so cool. Yes, you oh. are. I've actually had such a good time. Oh, I really yeah. enjoyed that. Because he's just, like a perfect mix of pony, pony horse. I know, isn't this he? Is why I love him. He's like a pony horse. Literally. They're the best. He's, yeah, he is. He's epic. I want to a clone to, a mare version. To be fair, you, hadn't, you haven't even done like tight turns. No. Like, he's good fun on the tight I turns. I bet. Because even doing those, I was like, I bought my outside rain across expecting, you know, we'll have a few more strides. And he's like, yeah turn like when we're doing those like turning back the little ourselves. exercises yeah i do a lot of that when i'm training actually i do a lot of um turn back jump off style yeah. stuff because it just gets them with a horse like him that's got a brain that works at a thousand miles an hour he anticipates everything he mm. thinks he knows everything that's coming coming ahead you've got to change things up all the time you've got, to, you've got to present him with the unexpected for him to actually think oh right and, like, i need to really it. listen here yeah so um so it does highlight I can do that on my ponies, like do those tight turns. Yeah. I need to get more, you know, turning on the quarters. Turn backs all Even the time. though I won't use it in a competition, they, yeah. just, they need to be able to, well, just say I won't use it, if I sail past a second element or something and have yeah. to turn. Absolutely. Oh my God, I wish we were three hours apart. Oh, I know, it's <laughs> such a shame. Good boy. But seriously, if anything, if anything I've taken away from this is that I really do need to start working on my flat more. I need, I need to start, I need to accept. I, mean, I can't believe you've not worked on your flat because he's so nice He's on so the flat. nice, he's so nice on the flat. But the thing is, as I said, like I had a real, real, my real problem was with the jumping and the stopping. Yeah. And I had to focus on my show jumping to overcome that. Yeah. Um, and, it, and unfortunately, the last two months have been jumping, jumping, jumping. I mean, not I jumping once a week, but uh, what yeah, I'm saying is, yeah. like, I've never sort of thought about having flat work lessons within those sort of jumping periods, you yeah. know? But, uh, you know, it'd be interesting to know from, like, your perspective as, like, an eventer, how do you, like, split your training? Like, how, how many lessons of flat do you have versus how many jump lessons do you have versus how many cross-country do I you mean, have? I mean, I'm so bad with, like, the majority of my lessons are flat lessons. Really? I'm so bad with going for jumping lessons. But, like, I don't really know why, just because... The, the flat matters so much in eventing to get yeah. place. Yeah, and it's yeah. kind of like you always, if you don't have your base dressage score low, there's, you know, you're not going to get you're place. You're not set up well, yeah. Um, correct, but yeah. yeah, so I'd say, yeah, majority flat and then jumping maybe. I don't know, I've, I had more this year because of badminton, but since badminton and Lucinda, yeah. only jump lessons I've had a swipe up kick on and then I had one jumping lesson on Fine. jam like a couple of months ago. <laughs> Because I was thinking, like, maybe it's a case of I have one dressage lesson here, one jump lesson, one dressage, one jump. Yeah. I didn't know if that's if that's the sort of common thing. Is that what people do? Like, do they split it 50-50, like jump and fly? I, I would say you could definitely, like, really benefit from spl splitting it 50-50. I mean, obviously, when there's stuff you need to work on in the jumping, 
then you're gonna have more jumping because you're a show jumper at the end of the yeah. day. But like the flat is so important and just being able to get them around your inside leg and Absolutely. getting to step up through that shoulder. And this is what I'm saying, I've got such poor lower leg strength, that's why I wear spurs to really help me push his outside. Yeah, yeah, because you feel him drifting in. Yes. You've done, you always have to like hold him up, yeah. don't you? Absolutely, and I, I don't have the strength to do that. But yeah, as you said, flat work, lateral work is really important yeah, to, make, to improve that. Has he stopped uh, puffing? Or do I need um, to walk him some more? I'd probably give him, he's still sweating, I'd put, he's still puffing. Get I'd give him like another three minutes, I'd say. I'll, I'll start walking him long. I feel Thanks, like he was getting Millie. dizzy going in that circle, bless him. Okay guys, been told to keep the cameras rolling for this bit. We're about to do our outro and tell you what exciting video is coming next. <laughs> Charlotte's actually, Charlotte was on Bake Off this year, I believe. <laughs> what did you I got? thought, right, let's reveal. I thought since we've got Pete's Eats, you and Han here with us and of course the lovely Anna and Rachel and my mum of course I baked last night a Lotus Biscoff Blondie and I've gone extra with the Biscoff spread of course so I thought we could all uh, tuck into a little Blondie and also do a little feature of Pete's Eats oh my god rating yes. of the Blondie incredible smell it have a smell Oh my, well sorry for everyone that's eating that, I've just put my sweaty face in it. <laughs> that looks I think Boss wants some. <laughs> Boss, please. Oh. All right, well, we'll wrap up the riding, but there is going to be a Pete Suits coming, so don't go anywhere. Charlotte, I need to say a massive thank you for having me come. No. I've had the best, I can't stop smiling, I've had literally the best time riding him. Seriously, I honestly thank you for doing such a good job. Like, there's nothing more... When you've only got one horse, there's nothing more sort of terrifying than someone that's never ridden your horse before and your, your fear of, if, are they going to fall off? Are they going to break a bone? Like, of course, this is Meg Elphick we're talking about here, guys. I did not want to be held responsible if poor Meg was to fall off one of Bossy's wild bucks. But <laughs> oh he did be proud today. He gave Meg a really lovely ride. He did. And the he fact that she's got the biggest smile on her face just means everything. So. Yeah. No, I think I've, I've caught him on an easy day because he's certainly, he's really not an easy horse to ride. Like, you do such a good job on him yeah. because even like he's harder to ride when you're sat on him than you are just watching him yeah. even so like stop being hard on yourself because you <laughs> honestly do a really fantastic job with him and he is Aww. such a special amazing horse and I feel really honoured to have ride him sorry Aww. for sliding into your DMs all those weeks ago and just be <laughs> like can I come with my bossy please that was a good moment Meg was like Charlotte I am doing a vlogmas do you want me to come and ride bossy and feature yeah, it was well, like, please, 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 please. I, don't, I don't mind if you say no but please <laughs> it's fine if not oh it was brilliant I'm so glad you had a good time on him I right had let's go munch time. yep you guys stay tuned for this and stay tuned for the next video where we're going somewhere very special but I don't know I'm feeling a little bit tired I don't I don't fancy riding <laughs> be sure to head over to my Instagram for the wonderful giveaway and let's Pete's eat this blondie can you tell that I don't want to get off fussy <laughs> <laughs> I've been Meg, walking around. Meg is still off Aussie. <laughs> okay, so uh, mum has kindly cut up the um, blondies. Now is the uh, taste test moment. Go on, Pete, get in hey. there before Vossie does. Pete's Eats, what's in the menu today and how he will rate it? Pete's Eats, what has his life come to? Let's see, it's Pete's Eats. I've heard Pete is ultra critical, He's so if I savage. get anything less than six, I'm literally going to boot him. <laughs> I'm going to give him one. Get the fair right. facts out. Honey, on. into, into the microphone, into the microphone here. I've Come here. Mouthful, I don't care, honey, it's what the people want. <laughs> it's, it's clipped onto me, so I'm, I'm really Go, quite... go to Meg. Right. What's the texture like? Yeah. Is, it, is it good consistency? It's thick. It's thick. Oh, we, oh, like no. a, we like a bit that of thick. That was thick with an F. That means it's ultra thick. Yeah. It's thick. It's a double K. <laughs> oh. No, that's really good. I like that. Okay, oh, I've never made right, one right, in my life. That's all right, honey. That's all right. Keep them cameras rolling. Mm. Oh, I'm going to have to get a 9.3 nine for that. Oh, God! Is that a genuine one? That is a genuine oh, one. Oh, my word! <laughs> Hold really on a good. minute. Hold on a minute. Has anyone scored bigger than 9.3 before ever? I don't know. If we, we rarely get in the nines. Yeah. We rarely get in the nines. I'm so honoured. I actually thought... Can take another bite yet? Hang on. Nick, can take another bite. Oh, 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 We've got to get a slow-mo yeah. of you chomping into it. 
Oh yeah. Oh, it's a mustache hairs for me, girls. <laughs> <laughs> right, Meg, go on, it's your go. Oh, yeah, if you it. give me anything less than 9.3. I don't do the ratings, I'm not allowed. Oh, okay. I'm not allowed, I get shouted at occasionally. Oh, I do love a blondie. I'm, oh, I think I, I a blondie prefer to... a blondie to a brownie. Okay. I'm just gonna, sorry guys, a little bit of showbiz. This is what it's like behind the scenes. <laughs> there we go. Boss wants some blondie. Can I have some yeah. in a minute, boss? Oh no. Oh my God. Is it good? Oh my word, that is good. Well. Are you promising you're not that baking this? Good. No, it's really good. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. sickly, it's really? And it's also it. not like cakey. I hate a cakey brownie. It's a all like blondie. It's not a brownie, sir. So. No, no, but do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so can I just let you into a little secret? So <laughs> I could packet. not find any white chocolate chips yesterday to save my life, and I bought little fudge pieces instead. So basically, it's a blondie with fudge pieces, Biscoff Lotus oh. spread on the, on the top and then lotus biscuit on top as well. So I'm actually, I was quite worried the consistency would be quite nice, but. This is incredible. <gasps> it's probably one of my favorite days. In the sun love, love you. Well and truly, verreeled? Verreeled. Who, did I say, what's the word? Verreeled. Revealed. 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 What did I say, verreeled? Verreeled. I'm gonna go ahead and start that again. <laughs> mum, I'm genuinely, mum, can you be 100% honest with me? Well, those rounds really rubbish, genuinely. You'll have a good time, you'll be fine. It's just Yeah, it. no, no, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be this fine. One. This one on the, honey, it's this fine. one on oh, the right. Honey, honey, I can't, it's fine. What about you, like, hold the hands skipping up there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want that on film. <laughs> Which one is it? That one. This is Spot. Well, God, it's thick, isn't it? For Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. 